Well hello YouTube, my name is Jonah and today I'm going to show you how to change the fill valve or flush valve in your toilet. And this is my toilet in the basement downstairs. And the problem is, after I've flushed the toilet, it takes such a long time for the water to refill. And I'll show you how long it takes, it drives me nuts. And I'm going to set a timer, just to show you. And in the interest of time, I've fast forward this part for you. And as you can see, it stopped just under six minutes. And the wife's not happy, so it's gotta be fixed. Just another honeydew list. And let's take a look what we have here. You notice this? Almost feels like a black tar. I think it's a black seal that have disintegrated. Or the black rubber gasket. And it may be clogging the system, therefore slowing the refill of the water. But it doesn't matter. I replaced this probably about six years ago. So it's time for a new one. What do you think? And the first thing I'll do is shut off my water. Oops. No, Jonah, you have to turn right to shut off the water. <laughs> turn clockwise. Ever make that mistake? I do it all the time. And I noticed a little leak when I did that. I'll have to fix that too. But I'll clean it up for now. Okay, I put a bucket underneath because you know I'm gonna make a lot of mess. Then I flush the toilet because we need to empty the bowl. And you notice that extra standing water? Well, I should have used a shop vac to suck it up. Then I undo my water supply line. Notice how it popped out like that? Well, this tube is just actually a little short. Then I undo the other end by turning counterclockwise. And since it's a little tighter than usual, I'm gonna have to do it with a wrench. Then I'm gonna check my supply tube if it's blocked. Looks like there's a good flow. Looks okay to me. Then I undo this smart nut. I don't know why it's called a smart nut. This one must have gone to school while the other nuts didn't. <laughs> and I just turn counterclockwise to undo the nut. Okay, I don't know if you noticed, but this smart nut is put in upside down. Well, I wonder who was a dummy that did that. Oops, that was me. <laughs> Six years ago. Then I just remove our fill valve. Notice all that black gunk. I'm sure that's what's clogging up the system and slowing the water flow. Tell me, what do you think? So I picked up a new fill valve for only $20.99. So let's see what we got here. This also comes in with a new refill tube with a white clip at the end. Then I lay down the new one beside the old one because I want the same height measurement as the old one. Notice the old one is a lot higher. As you can see, 
I want the new fill valve to go down just about another 2 inches. So notice the position of our smart nut. That's the correct position. The other one was upside down. Then I'll remove this rubber gasket, but I'll put it back on before we install it. And also notice the position of that gasket. Don't put it upside down. Now notice this positive locking mechanism. Press it down with your left thumb and twist the shaft with your right hand. And you should hear that click. Now just wiggle the shaft downwards until you get the correct adjusted height. And twist the shaft to the left to lock it again. And now it's locked. Then I'll put the rubber gasket back on. Notice I now have the correct height. I give a quick clean to the area my rubber gasket will sit on. Then I reinstall my fill valve. Making sure that nipple faces the overflow tube. Then I install my blue fill tube and clipped it on top of the overflow tube. So your blue refill tube may be a little bit longer, so you may have to clip it to size. Now I'll install my educated nut, <laughs> my smart nut. Notice again the correct position. Only hand tighten your smart nut and tighten it until you hear about two to three clicks. Okay, two clicks is good enough. Then I'll remove the old Teflon tape and give it a good clean with a steel brush. And install a new Teflon tape and wrap it around in clockwise position. Then I install my water supply line. Oops, wrong way again, Jonah. Remember, righty tidy. Now let's turn on our water supply. Uh oh, notice we got a little drip leak there. Let's see if there's any leaks on top. Well, it looks good up here, no leak. But we do have a leak down here. Oh, the wife's not going to be happy. Okay, Jonah, back to the drawing board. Let's do this again one more time. So I end up going back to the hardware store and bought a 9 inch flexible supply line for $6.99 and since I was there I also picked up some Teflon tape for $1.29 and I wrapped the Teflon tape in clockwise position. Okay Jonah, let's do this one more time with our new flex hose. Okay, let's try it again. Let's turn on the water supply. Well, 
Wow, and look, no leaks. Dry as a bone, just the way I like it. And how about up here? Excellent, no leaks at all. Now let's time it and see how well we did. I've got a good feeling about this. Well, I can see it's 100% better already. So, I hope you liked today's tutorial. And if my video has helped you out, give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you always get my latest videos. And as always, thanks for watching.